What you got here? I've got a pair of LeBron autograph shoes. That's pretty cool. These are actually the Weed Edition ones. They're the 2004 All-Star Game ones, and uh, they're a limited edition. I've never actually seen these in person, but they might be worth more without the signature than with it. I don't know about no, that. <laughs> The shoes are LeBron James 2004 All-Star Game shoes. They're personally mine, but uh, I had an autograph. The reason I'm selling the shoes is because I've had them for 10 years, and I'm hoping I can get a lot of money for them. They're a rare shoe itself. The autograph's rare, and I think LeBron statistically will go down as the number one player in NBA history. This is pretty cool, man. These are the Air Nike Zooms. How'd you get them? Uh, back in 2004, when I was a kid, I was at one of the Cavs games. I saw him coming, didn't have anything to sign, so I took him right off my feet, tossed it to him, he signed him, and tossed him right back. Sweet. This is LeBron's first shoe. They were actually afraid to attach the name LeBron to it at first because they didn't know how they were gonna sell, they didn't know how he was gonna do in the NBA. But Nike decided to give him $90 million before he even played one minute of NBA basketball. 18 years old, I cannot imagine that. <laughs> they paid off for him, though. LeBron pushed to enter the draft right after his junior year of high school, but the NBA decided he was too young. Lucky for his teammates, though, because tickets to his high school basketball games were being scalped for over $100 each. So what do you want to do with them? I'm looking to sell them. OK, uh, how much did you want to get for them? I'm looking for about $1,000. <sighs> 1000 bucks, OK. Um, I mean, the condition of the shoe looks pretty good. It looks like the autograph is uh, upside down. I don't know how that's going to affect the value. If you have a little while to hang out, I'm going to call a friend of mine. He basically will look at this autograph, tell me if it's real and how much he thinks it's worth. Go ahead, can I run? All right, let me go make a phone call. I'm excited that the expert's coming in. Hopefully, he can appraise it to something higher than I expected it to be. And I'm excited to see what he has to say. We got uh, one of the greatest player in the world's shoes here. These are his rookie shoes. Oh, cool. And he only signed one of the shoes. It's right there. OK. You know, meeting LeBron in person is not that easy. And getting near him, uh, you know, for autograph seekers especially, or people just wanting a picture, it's not really that easy to get near this guy. So Chum, tell me your concerns. Well, I don't know if it's real. And how much is it actually worth on his shoe? Because this obviously wasn't LeBron James's shoe. OK. And obviously, I always look at the exemplars. The first thing starts off here, and we kind of see the same thing here. And he just kind of goes into this big mess here. And it looks like he either came off it uh, strangely or just signed it abruptly. Another example of a signature, once again, he starts off here as almost a 2-3. You see here? Yeah. This is a little sloppier. And then he kind of finishes the flourish off here. Matches up pretty good to the exemplars. It's a little sloppier version. I really don't have a problem with the signature, though. Do you think it's OK upside down? LeBron James, super tough autograph. So upside down on a shoe, especially a rare shoe like this, I don't think it really matters. Cool. So how much is it worth? Well, you know, based on everything here, I put the value of this right at about $350 to $400. All right, well, thank you. Good seeing you, bro. Yeah. Take care. You too. Yep. Just based on the fact that LeBron's so popular, um, people really like that guy. And the chances of you getting a signature are pretty low. And I think that thing would fly off the shelf. So we're looking at about $200. I think with the combination of the rare shoe and the rare signature, I think it's just too low of an offer. You know, unfortunately, the rare shoe and the signature aren't going to sell to the same customer. I could go up to maybe $250. That's not enough. What's your bottom number? I'd say about 600. It's not going to happen. All right. Thanks for bringing them down, though, man. They're really cool. LeBron James is a great player, and it's not often you get to see these shoes. Take thank care. you. Yeah. The offer of $200 is definitely disappointing to me. I want to take this shoe back to Cleveland and just hold on to it for a couple more years until LeBron wins the championship in Cleveland, brings it home, and then I'll uh, see what it's worth then. What's going on? How you doing, man? Pretty good. What can I do for you? Got an interesting piece here. It is a LeBron James high school game used mouthpiece. What? You gotta be kidding me. Is this really LeBron James's mouthpiece? Absolutely. You know, you can imagine he's got a huge mouth. It wouldn't even fit inside my mouth, I well, don't we think. We could try. This is disgusting. 
I love it. <laughs> I have a LeBron James high school game used mouthpiece. It says King James on the front of it, Gloria, his mom's name on the side, along with number 23. I am hoping to get $12,000 for it. I'm literally speechless right now. I'm holding a piece of King James history in my hand right now. This is awesome. I mean, it's LeBron James. The guy is a Hall of Famer, you know? Three NBA championships, four All-Star game MVPs. He played with the Cavaliers, then he went to the Heat. He won a couple championships. Went back to the Cavaliers, brought home a championship to his hometown, you know, Ohio. He's from Akron. Yeah, and there's also a picture of LeBron with it in his mouth. Well, you can see the spacing on it. Mm -hmm. Wow. And this is cool because this is LeBron James in high school. Mm -hmm. His high school memorabilia uh, doesn't come up on the market very much. What are you looking to do with it? I'm looking to sell it. And how much are you looking to get for it? 12,000. Whew. Man, you buy a mouthpiece for 12,000 and I'm thinking I want diamonds encrusted <laughs> on it. You know what I mean? There's, well, I mean, I it, want it to shine. <laughs> I have no idea if it's worth 12,000 or if it's worth 20,000 or if it's worth 1,000. I just don't know. But if you got a little while, I'm gonna call a buddy of mine and have him down here because for $12,000, you know, I'm really gonna need to be positive that this was LeBron James's. I understand, that's fine. Right. Give me a few minutes, I'm gonna call my guy Dan down and he'll come take a look at it and we'll go from there. Cool. cool. What do you got? King James's mouthpiece. High school mouthpiece. High school King mouthpiece. King James. Dude, that's incredible. I know. That is so freaking cool. I thought you'd like it. That is so awesome. When you come across a piece that's this odd, I mean, people would think, why would you want someone's mouthpiece? Right. But this is a piece of history. And you said high school. This is his pre-NBA mouthpiece. This type of stuff is impossible to find. And that's where the value comes in. King James is huge. One thing I love about him is that he recently gave $41 million to put a ton of kids through the University of Ohio at Akron. He's huge with his community. Mm -hmm. You know, he really cares to get these underprivileged kids through college. So did this come with any dental records? <laughs> <laughs> well, check out this photo right here in Sports Illustrated. This is LeBron in high school, and the mouth guard he's got in looks just like this one. This is great. Just looking at the indentations on the mouth guard, King James, you definitely see the 23. To me, the color, the placement, I mean, it, it's identical to the photo. Mm -hmm. And photo matching is everything with value. This is really a rare item. He's highly collected. What do you think it's worth? This is definitely King James mouth guard. With game used stuff, seeing what jerseys have gone for, you know, seeing what warm ups have gone for, I know what I'd pay for it. So I'm going to put the retail value at five grand. Well, I appreciate coming by. Absolutely. You Thank got you. it. You're going to have to leave the mouthpiece. You got to get that. Well, not quite the 12,000 you're looking for. Is there still a deal here to be made? This is a high school game used mouthpiece, man. I. Honestly, the lowest I could probably go is like nine. You wouldn't take 45? <sighs> I gotta try. <laughs> I understand. Man, I can't. All right. Well, I appreciate it. And if you uh, if you still have it and you want to sell it, I'll 45 stands. All right. Appreciate it, man. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have All a right. good day. You too. Man, I really wanted that. How can I help you? I have a pair of LeBron 6 Beaverton player exclusives. OK, let me take a look here. This is pretty cool. I think these were made for the um, employees at the Nike factory, right? Right, so they are samples, never right. released. OK, the colors are really cool. The black and orange, they have the Halloween vibe that I always liked wearing. I'm at the pawn shop today to sell my Nike LeBron 6 Beaverton player exclusives. I got them from a seller out of Portland, Oregon, where Nike headquarters is located. I've been in the sneakers for 15 years or so. Once LeBron became a rookie, I really started collecting his shoes. They were brand new when I bought them, and they were my size, so I've, I've worn them once, so they're near mint. I'm looking to get for my LeBron 6 Beavertons $3,000. I always like LeBron shoes. I actually preferred to play basketball in LeBron's over like Jordan's okay. or any other shoes. 
From what I understand, these would have been released to the employees in the Beaverton um, Nike headquarters. And they would have been made for a special occasion, the LeBron World Tour 2008. And that was right before LeBron was headed over to China for the Olympics. And he was about to go win a gold medal. And he had just come off his most win season with the Cleveland Cavaliers. And then in 2015, LeBron made a lifetime deal with Nike. And that's like crazy iconic. Basically, they're setting LeBron up to be the next Jordan at this point. It's a nice, clean shoe. It's got a great silhouette. So we want to look under the tongue. I'm sure you already know right here. And there we go. Beaverton, Oregon, July 17th, 2008. Even if they made them for everyone in the Beaverton Nike headquarters, it's still not that many. If I'm guessing, they probably made two to 500 pairs. Um, I heard it was select employees got them. OK, um, so how much are you looking to get for them? 3,000. OK, um, samples are a little harder to judge because they were never released to the general public. But these are probably one of the more collectible LeBron samples, I'd say, just because it has a really cool story to it. Would you take 1,500 for him? LeBron's number is 23, so how about 2,300? I think LeBron's number eight now, so maybe we can get down to 800. <laughs> if you wanted to like sell him today, I, I could be a buyer at 2,000, but 2,000 is going to be firm for me. All right, I'll take 2,000. All right, it's a deal. I'll meet you over at the counter, and we'll write them up. All right, thanks. It's nice to have $2,000 in my pocket, but I am sad to see the LeBron 6 Beavertons go, and it hurts my soul. The other day, Dan, my sports guy, told me about an upcoming auction of Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's memorabilia. So I flew into Philadelphia, and I'm headed out towards New Jersey to go look at this stuff. It's a once-in-a-lifetime deal. If I can get to buy some of this stuff before the auction, I think I might be able to get it for a really good price. And hopefully, this is going to be a great day. Hey, Rick, I'm Ken. How you doing? I'm doing good, man. So I'm here to see that stuff. Great. Let's go take a look back here. OK. You got a lot of stuff in here. Yeah, yeah so we've got some really cool stuff. But the Kareem Abdul-Jabbar collection is what you came to see. That stuff is amazing. I mean, exactly. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> My auction house is one of the world's largest sports collectible auction houses, and we have the Kareem Abdul Jabbar collection. All of these items are scheduled to go to auction. However, we've set some items aside, and if something can be worked out, he can get them, and they will never hit the auction block. This is pretty damn impressive. He was like the first mega superstar in basketball. Three straight championships in college, six NBA championships, six NBA Most Valuable Player awards. Nobody else has that resume. Arguably the greatest basketball player ever. And then you look at what else he's accomplished. Actor, civil rights, writer. Also, you know, philanthropy, he's uh, exactly. has a foundation. Yep, Skyhook, uh, and that's one of the reasons why he's doing this, is to help his uh, Skyhook Foundation. OK. So let me show you what we got. This is the official NBA Most Valuable Player Award. In 1975-76, he led the league with 17 rebounds a game, had one of his best ever seasons. Yeah, and this is his first season with the Lakers. That is correct, yep. So went to a new team, yeah. certainly earned his money. Those are his goggles? These are his iconic goggles, correct. So how many pairs of those are out there? Kareem himself had only two pairs. That's pretty cool. And he wore those because he was so tall, people, you know, when they went up the block or whatever, and like he would get stuck in the eye. Exactly. Just think somebody jumping up to try and get a ball. You know, some of these centers back when he played might have been six foot eight, and he was seven foot two, so he was taller than them. They went to reach and poked him in the eye. That that protected him. Are these prescription? No, they are just normal. You try them on. <laughs> uh, they're a little big for me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> And this is his 1979 All-Star Game jersey. It comes directly from Kareem. And you can even see in here, you know, you see the dirt from, you know, from, from the playing use. I mean, it's, it's unwashed. Sorry about that. But that, that's what the way people like it. And uh, it's just a remarkable piece of basketball history. A game-worn jersey is really, really cool. But an All-Star jersey, that's just sort of like, that's a completely different thing. Exactly. They had to make the All-Star Game. They had to play in the All-Star Game. And then they only wore one. If you're into basketball, mm -hmm. and if you just had this stuff right here, I think you're done. <laughs> it, it's incredible. However, I saved the best for last. What kind of holy grail do you have? Uh, why don't you let me bring it to you? How about that? It's very unique, and it's part of his Lakers dynasty. OK. OK, let me go All grab right. it from I'm the I'm intrigued. Safe. Thank you. I just don't know what could really be better than that. 
amazing. This Whoa. is the 1987-88 Los Angeles Lakers ring presented to Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. It's a back-to-back -back ring, and it is the final championship that he won in his NBA career. Can I touch it? Absolutely. <laughs> take, take a close look. Okay, I just have to do this? Sure. I am now officially a better person. <laughs> I mean, obviously, he didn't wear it a lot. Yeah, he kept it in mint condition. And you know, just like baseball cards, you know, the better the condition, the more valuable the item. Yeah, that was so cool. I mean, as, as you probably know, dealing with rings is the most precious item to an athlete. They will, yeah. you know, they'll, they'll do a jersey, they'll do a basketball. You know, these players do not give up their championship rings. It, and it's this, a really rare occasion when they Exactly. Go. And this is the biggest name to ever make any of these items available. That's pretty amazing right there. Thank you. So this is the moment. How much do you want for this stuff? Well, what we're doing is we are helping Kareem uh, raise money for his charity. For the trophy, we would expect it to go for around um, 300000 For the goggles, we would expect a price around $40,000. For the jersey, we would expect a price around 125000 And on the ring, we would be looking for 375000 OK. Um... Yeah, a little bit more than your standard ring. Yeah. <laughs> so I knew this was going to be amazing stuff, so I arranged for my sports guy, Dan, to be here, but he can't get here until tomorrow. So can I come back tomorrow? Absolutely. I'll be here. Really feel like I should light a candle before I leave. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow, man. Sounds great. I'll, I'll show you out. Hey, bud, how you doing? Doing great, man. Good to see you. Big hookup, isn't it? Oh, yeah, dude. This is definitely the hookup. This stuff is badass. All let's... right, let's check it out. Oh. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> look at that. Hey, guys, how you doing? Dan, good hey, to see you again. Ken, nice to Thanks see you. Thanks for coming Let's back, go. Rick. Good, I was just grabbing the ring out of the safe for you. Hey, you never get to see, st I mean, like, this is like the ultimate Kareem Abdul-Jabbar stuff, period. I wanted Dan to check these out. Sure, I mean, that, that's wonderful, and I don't want to trump Dan, but as far as authenticity goes, let me do you one better. I'll be right back if you don't mind. OK. I tried on the ring. Really? <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> Oh, my God. I thought that uh, you might like to meet the man himself. To it is, talk a, it little is bit an honor. About his collection. Hi, how are you? I'm doing great. It's how you a, doing? a very big honor. I'm Dan. Pleasure. So this is your stuff? This is my stuff. <laughs> so you can authenticate it. I can definitely authenticate it. <laughs> Where have you kept all this stuff? So it was all in the basement of my mom's house in Queens. And the NBA offices are in New York. So if I got an award, I'd just say, send it to my mom's house. They knew my mom real well. And then I had a fire. My house burned down, but I managed to keep all of my stuff. That's just uh, amazing. You got a storied life. A lot of blood, sweat, and tears went into accumulating this, but uh, it was a great life. Some pretty amazing stuff here. I know, Rick, you had asked me a question about the goggles. I don't know. I'm, so, I'm a little bit in awe, so hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> I had gotten poked in the eye a number of times and had uh, scratched corneas. So in order to guard my vision, I started wearing these. And when you first started wearing them, did the other guys tease you about them? No. A lot of kids who have to wear glasses mm -hmm. kind of were oh, encouraged cool. by me because yeah. they say, oh, Kareem wears glasses and uh, he's playing in the NBA, you know. Cool. And you're selling all this and giving money to charity? Yeah. We'll go to my foundation. I, okay. I send kids to uh, camp so that they can learn about uh, STEM subjects, science, technology, engineering, and math. That's cool. So maybe we can make a deal on something? We absolutely can make a deal. And if we do, maybe you can come down to LA and we'll go to a Laker game. With you? Absolutely. I think we need to buy something. Because that wasn't in the bucket list till now. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. All right, well, thanks. It's been a pleasure meeting you, man. It really fun. has. Yeah, pleasure. An honor. I'll be back, guys. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar right in front of us. Yeah. Authenticating his stuff. All right, so give me some prices. 75 MVP trophy. We're looking at about 225000 We got the Game News Western Conference All-Star jersey. Probably looking at about 100000 to 125000 the 87, 88 championship ring, you're looking at a quarter million dollars. OK. The goggles, I personally think, are really cool. You're looking at between 20 and 30,000. And uh, I think they'll, they'll be great for the store. So I bet that was an experience, huh? Um, yeah. To say the least. Thanks, man. Good luck. Thank you, Dan. Appreciate you're welcome. it. You're welcome. Good to see you again. Yep. So how much do we take for the goggles? 
Uh, we're looking to get a forty thousand dollars. Are you fifteen grand? I, I can't take fifteen grand. I'm trying to uh, help Kareem out. You met him in person. I, I know, I know, I know. I can go down to thirty-five thousand for you. I'll give you twenty grand. Twenty-seven five. Twenty-two. Tell you what. Agree at twenty-five thousand. Don't counter. I will get you the tickets to go with him to a Lakers game this season and see the Lakers with Kareem and watch LeBron James play. It's sort of hard to say no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, man. It has just been an absolutely amazing day. I bought Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's goggles, and I'm going to a Lakers game with them. I can't wait to rub this in Corey and Chum's face. It's going to be glorious.